The Live Golf Invitational Miami Team Championship will get underway tomorrow. It's being held at the Trump National Doral. But with it being a Saudi-backed tournament, it's coming with some controversy. CBS4's Trish Christakis has player reaction to that controversy, as well as what former President Donald Trump had to say. Now, this Saudi-backed golf tournament has brought on some controversy and big name. Phil Michelson says it's not going anywhere. If I'm just looking at Live Golf and where we are today, to where we were six, seven months ago, and people are saying this is dead in the water, and we're we're past that, and here we are today, uh, a force in the game that's not going away. Live Golf is backed by Saudi Arabia's public investment fund and has caught quite the attention from fellow golfers and spectators. Thursday at the event, their main focus was on golf, but it was hard for them to ignore the headlines that has followed it. I knew the uh, some of the. Uh, some of the things that might happen uh, if I join here, but uh, you know, at the end of the day, as we're seeing, um, you can see that uh, some of the guys on the other side don't don't really want me there. So, meanwhile, former President Donald Trump was at the event held at his golf club in Doral. He came up and spoke to me at the event and kept it to golf as he was playing with Brooks Kepka. Brooks was fantastic. Yeah. Six hundred. He didn't give me any tips. He's not going to give me any tips. He didn't want me to beat him. Um, but yeah, no, we, we listen, we had a great time. It's always fun playing with him. The controversy has continued to cause a divide in the game. And when brought up to Sergio Garcia Thursday, the us versus them, meaning PGA Tour and live golf conversation that Rory McIlroy said will continue to fracture golf, Garcia made his stance very clear. I don't have a problem. You're asking the wrong person. But that's all, that's all I'm going to say. I don't have a problem with any one of them. And members of the 9-11 community out protesting that tournament today. Now, that consisted of family members and survivors from the organization 9-11 Justice. In Doral, Trish Krasakis, CBS 4 News.